All right, matchup number three is against the Asian sensation Teddy Ballgame and Team Dershfall. Um, Dershfall is, I think, one of the biggest winners in the draft, but we'll see how that carries out into the season. Um, right now, Dershfall is favored by seven points, and then you can add one, so favored by eight points because of the home field advantage. Both are expected to be over the 100-point range by ESPN. Uh, I'm going to take you through the rosters, and I'll tell you if ESPN is right or wrong. And let's be honest, I'm more right than ESPN. Um, Teddy Ball game. He's going to see how Brett Favre does. I don't see Brett Favre having the season that he did last year. I don't think anybody else does. And the the problem also is Sidney Rice is out for week one. Um, I know I'm a San Francisco homer. I fully admit it, but I do try to stay as – as unbiased as possible when it comes to predictions. I definitely would be starting Alex Smith against the Seattle defense um, instead of Brett Favre against uh, New Orleans. I know Brett Favre put up over 500 yards of offense um, last year in the playoffs against Minnesota, um, but he doesn't have quite the weapons, and I do think they're going to be running a lot more coming out of the gate this year. Um, Alex Smith going against Seattle's defense, I definitely see – a lot more points out of Alex Smith this year, probably or this week. Um, probably two tutties, and I'm thinking around 250 yards and maybe one pick. So I would I would be starting Alex Smith. Um, we'll see what Asian does with that. Um, Beanie Wells. Beanie Wells, Ronnie Brown, and Johnny Knox in the flex are his middle three. Um, Ronnie Brown against Buffalo's defense, I have to love. I'm thinking 15, 16 points. He's going to be getting the cool line carries, and the Wildcat is going to kill him. Buffalo can't stop it. He's going to get a lot of points out of that. Beanie Wells is going against the Rams' defense. Um, the Rams might have Bradford, but he can't play both sides. The Rams are going to give up a lot of yards. We're going to see really in week one how they're going to be distributing the ball between Beanie Wells and Hightower. The, the word around the grapevine is that they're going to give it to the guy who's hot that day. So if Beanie doesn't start off hot and Hightower does, Beanie's not going to get a lot of points. But I do think that he's going to start off hot against uh, the Rams to try to earn that number one spot and stay there. I'm thinking around 12 points for uh, my good old Ohio State Buckeye. Um, Johnny Knox out of Chicago. I'm going to see a big emergence. This is my surprise of the week is Johnny Knox. Um, he's going to go for 14 points, one tutty, about 80 to 90 yards um, against the Detroit defense. And Cutler, Johnny Knox is going to be it. Watch him. Um, on Dershfall's side, he's got Forte, he's got Moreno, he's got Crabtree in his middle three. Forte against Detroit. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of Chica uh, a lot of Chicago Detroit matchups so far. Um, Forte against Detroit. We're going to see if Forte comes back from his slump from last year. I see it happening. Um, uh, we're going to see though also how much they're going to be using Chester Taylor and if he's going to be stealing a lot of carries and a lot of plays on third down away from Forte. That might make uh, play a major role, but I do see Forte finding the end zone at least for once. I see him in the double, double digits around that 10 to 12 range. Uh, no Sean Moreno. I have no idea what's going on with No Sean Moreno. No, there's no anybody else just because in Denver we have no idea what's going on. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin uh, Moreno at eight points. If he plays a lot more, I mean, I can see him at 16 points against Jacksonville. Um, he's a big, he's going to be a big flex spot with what's going to happen in this matchup, whether Dirk Fall wins or loses. Um, if Moreno plays a lot, I'm going to see him in the mid-teens. If he doesn't, I'm going to see him in the single digits. So that's really going to hurt Dirk Fall. Um, Crabtree, and the same reason why I wanted to start Alex Smith on um, Teddy Ballgame side. I want to, st uh, I like Crabtree. Um, against Seattle, too, on Dershfall's side. I think he's going to get around 10 points. Um, he might get 100 yards, which will give him 10 points. He might get about 50 yards and a, touch, uh, a touchdown. So we'll see how um, that does in week one. Like I said, week one is a crapshoot. We don't really know how they're going to come out and game plan. But week one, it usually favors the defense. Um, so I don't see – oh, my cigarette went unlit. Sorry, guys. Um, but I don't see Crabtree not having a big game or at least a decent game coming out his uh, first full season, first time he's ever been in week one. Um, receivers, we have Steve Smith, number two, from um, the Giants and Mike Sims-Walker that Sensation has. Um, 
both of them are solid. I've seen both at around nine points. So I'm seeing 18 points out of their wide receiver slot. Um, Dirk Schwal with Wayne, Reggie Wayne, and Deshaun Jackson. Reggie Wayne is going to put up about 15, 16 points this, this week. Um, the only thing that's going to hurt him is Manning is in the, in the red zone. Tends to look even more at Pierre Garçon and Dallas Clark. But the more attention Pierre Garçon has can only mean good, I guess, for Reggie Wayne. He's going to open him up, especially down in the red zone. Um, Deshaun Jackson against Green Bay. I see him having a flub day, a uh, flub week. Um, I see him at around five, maybe six points. Um, 49ers defense, I see a lot of points for against Seattle. Um, with a lot of turnover Seattle has this year, we'll see how it happens, but I'm seeing around uh, 12, 14 points. Look for the, the Niners to have a defensive touchdown. Bengals defense against New England. Um, if it was my team for Asian, I would bench the Bengals defense. I like the Bengals defense this year. I don't like them in this matchup. Um, We'll see if he keeps them. If he does, I'm thinking only one, two points, and there's a slight chance they're going in the negatives. The Patriots want to make a statement on offense this year. We'll see if it happens. Um, I think there's all the one smart thing he did. He placed Michael Bush, which I think is going to be a starter for him down the road. But in week one, I don't see it happening because Oakland's a more, uh, Oakland is pretty stupid. Um, other than that, my prediction for this week I have Dershval winning by 20. Um, I see them around that 110 range, and I see Asian around uh, the 90 range. That's my story. It's sticking to it. Sorry, ball game. You're starting off the season 0-1. Dershval, you get um, you you. Oh shit! I messed that whole thing up, but um, they definitely get helped by his good draft, and we'll see it in week one. Sorry about that ending, guys, but um, like I said, Dirschfall by 20.